As promised, we will continue with a few small looks at the upcoming high school football season. Tonight, we are talking Warwick. 3-7 and seven overall record last year, but a couple of very close losses included in that mark. The number one priority for the Warriors this year, shoring up a defense that surrendered a lot of second-half offense to the opposition. The good news, quite a bit of talent returning. Six out of the nine top tacklers from last season will be back on the defensive side of the ball. The Warriors hoping all that experience pays off. Priority number one for us was to become a better defensive football team. We gave up too many points last year, too many yards, and, and uh, couldn't stop people. Defensively, I think we, we really have a pretty solid nucleus if you look at returning stars. So I think for us to be successful, we need to be first be a better defensive football team but then try to find a way to keep the defense off the field so much, which then goes to the next point, which is we're really going to work hard to be a better running offensive football team. Sounds like a plan. Run the ball, keep possession, keep that defense fresh. We will have lots more about the 2014 version of the Warwick Warriors coming up on our preseason special Wednesday, August 27th at 8.30 p.m. To some baseball now in the Eastern League, the final game of the rivalry series between the Harrisburg Senators and the Reading Fightin' Phils. This week, the Fightins have dominated the Sens, rattling off a three-game winning streak heading into tonight. But get this, the power goes out at First Energy Stadium tonight. No lights, no scoreboard, batters announced by megaphone. Baseball circa 1890, gotta love it. Fightins Chris Bootcheck on the mound. Great name and great stuff. Strikes out the side in the second inning. And as if on cue, the power comes back on. No offense in this game for a while, but defense being played all over the place. Nice double play here turned by Redding in the fourth inning. And then finally, some offense in the bottom of the fourth. Aaron Altair will launch one into the night sky, carries all the way out of the park. Solo shot gives Redding the lead, and the Fightins make it four wins in a row and a sweep, 3-0 over Harrisburg. Moving on to the Atlantic League now, Lancaster Barnstormers still in the playoff hunt, and they help out their cause tonight, winning 5-0 over the Bridgeport Bluefish. Cole Garner going 3-for-5 on the night with two runs scored. Gabe Jacobo adding two RBI, and the Stormers keep pace with Sugarland in the race for the division lead. How about their rival, the York Revolution? Struggling as of late, losing four of their last six, and they add another one to the loss column. Sugarland wins 3-1, to one, padding their division lead. Revs Eric Patterson with a lone run in the fourth inning, a leadoff homer for York. Moving on to some golf, the summer starting to wind down, but on the Lancaster County Junior Golf Tour, the action heating up with tomorrow's Junior War of the Roses. 14 of Lancaster County's best young golfers squaring off against the top young talent from York County Friday at Media Heights Golf Course. Here is the roster for the Red Rose squad. Mannheim's Haley Goodling will lead the girls tandem into action while tour champ Chris North anchors the boys team. He'll be joined by Lancaster's Richard Riva, Lidditz's Peter Chipper, and Denver's Nick Hatch, among others. Lancaster's squad will look to be recapturing the title after they surrendered it to York last summer for the first time ever. Golfers tee off tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. And finally, we told you yesterday that former Warwick swimming star Emily Cameron would be busy the next few days competing in five events at the U.S. National Championships in California. Today, she swam in the 200-meter breaststroke, winning her heat in a time of 2.30.71, qualifying 15th overall in the event. Good enough to place her in the B final tonight, where she improved her time slightly and finishes right where she qualified in 15th place. But that'll do it for sports. We'll be right back.